年のズームはアニバサリー。72 here, and I'm here with Misunderstood. How you doing? And welcome to Phalanx, the WiiWare edition. Now, what am I talking about in terms of the WiiWare edition? Well, back in the early 90s, though, in Japan, there was a, uh, a small little gaming console slash PC, if you will, kind of like the uh, Commodore 64, called the Sharp, called the uh, Sharp 68000, X68000, if you will. Played it. It was an early. Uh, it was early, one of the early uh, forms of uh, PC gaming at the time. And it played games like uh, Super Street Fighter 2 and a bunch of other games, uh, including Castlevania, and a bunch of other games that I dare not remember off the top of my head. But it was also one of the, it was one of these games that also that was also released, and it eventually ended up coming out on the Super Famicom in Japan and also the Super Nintendo here in the United States. Now, this was also one of the very first games that she and I both played growing up as a kid. Mm -hmm. And in 2009, on the Nintendo Wii in Japan for the WiiWare, this was also released as a remake. This game uh, was not available outside of the U.S., and whenever the Wii channel shut down in Japan, this went along with it. So we're using emulated memes to play this awesome, awesome game that we ended up, we ended up loving as a kid. She has a love-hate relationship with this game. Mm-hmm. The yeah. Super Nintendo version of it, yes. Yep. <laughs> Tell you what. Oh, yeah. So for this one, though, you know, we're going to... We're gonna go ahead and just uh, start start this off though, because this was one of the games that I enjoyed playing as a kid. Then you know, including our dad at the time, he uh, kind of introduced it to us when we rented it at Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. So, and then we ended up buying, I believe, in 1995 at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, till this day, though, we still we uh, I have a I still have my SNES copy. She actually recently picked it up on the Super Famicom last year. Yeah. Brand new and loo loose, actually. Yeah, pretty loose, but in very 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 nice condition. I'll tell you that right now. Oh yeah. Um, Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, the the Famicom version that I have is in very nice condition. It's very healthy, pretty mm -hmm. much. I'll tell you what, uh, the fam. I'll tell you what that if I had to compare the difficulties between the Super Nintendo and the Famicom version, the Famicom is way harder. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. But uh, with this one though, this one just pretty much has its own difficulties too. So 
and I'm not gonna lie though, I've played all three uh, difficulties on, on this though, and easy for, and technically easy, easy on this one is pretty standard when it comes to difficulty. I played it on normal, it feels like a hard mode, I played it on hard mode, it feels like an extreme difficulty, or like on the Super Nintendo as it's called, funny. And I've seen other people play it on funny too, and it's stupid how good they are. Fuck, fuck everybody who can play it on, who can beat it on funny. <laughs> Cause I can't. Yeah. I, I, I only made it to um, the end of level one. Get ready. Yeah. I, I gotta tell you though, if anybody's ever played the um, the original version, both on the X68000, and if you've gotten your hand on it though, that's honestly that's one thing I would have loved to play though was uh, on the X68000 sh uh, sharp version, because. Mm -hmm. You know, at the time, though, it was early, early, early peak, you know, it was just the beginning of the 90s, though, when we were just going into the next generation. And I got to tell you, though, the chip sound, the way the chip sounded, though, was, it sounded, uh, like, hold on, fighting these off real quick. The way the chip sounded, though, when it came to the music, though, it sounded almost like how the Genesis sound, in my opinion, though. But to me, though, it felt like it was like, I've heard the soundtrack on it as one. Well. It sounded like it was on the Sega Genesis in a way, though, but it was beyond that, though, because it was definitely... Um, ahead of its time at the time, can I can tell you right now, Japan when it came when it came to gaming and ideals and all that though, including concepts, especially in the '90s and even in the '80s, they were far ahead of us. I mean, yeah. the NES you know brought us out of the uh, video game crash as well. Mm -hmm. So anyway, just just like in the beginning, though, this is this is what I remember too. I remember just loving just how. So nostalgic a lot of times too because this game was also one of those games I would play whenever I was sick as a kid. Mm -hmm. And God, it was also one of those difficult games that you know you couldn't like you had fun with. Yeah, I know that all too well. No difference with her though, you know she chokes most of the time too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like. See that nervous laugh right there? That's how she ends up choking. Yeah. There you go. Now, with this guy right here now on the Super Nintendo version though, this one, uh, it's very much still the same too, and even on the uh, X68000 version, mm -hmm. which which is interesting too. On the menu, I did which I didn't show on the menu on here, the uh, menu actually has two versions. It has the quote unquote uh, the version I'm playing right now, the X68000 mm -hmm. too. Yes. And the reason why they call it that, that this particular ver the X68000 is because this is uh, the, what the remake is modeled after the original. Mm -hmm. That also includes you know both. The, that mainly the soundtrack and the way the game's portrayed too, because on the Super Nintendo, it's actually portrayed a little bit different, slightly similar, but just mm -hmm. different in many ways. Yes, that's true. I've played this version before, and I'm act I was actually surprised. I actually beat it on the first try. Yeah. <laughs> it took me, um, because it took me what five years to beat the game the first time to beat the Super Nintendo version. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Because you've been playing it forever. I've been playing it forever, man. It's, um... The Super Nintendo version is super difficult. On easy, it's di it's very difficult. And, um... I don't know how I... Don't ask me how I was able to beat it at 10 years old. Because I haven't been able to beat the game since. Yeah. This along with uh, a few other games, including uh, uh, Super Mario World and, uh... What was mm -hmm. it? Yes. Uh, the uh, first Act Razor game. Which, Star Fox as well. Yeah, Star Fox. Mm -hmm. I believe I played that sometime. I'm trying to remember when uh, the first Star Fox came out. Whenever. 1993. First, 93. Okay, because I want to say along with this one, I also. Oh yeah, F Zero was also one of the was I believe the second game that I played. I love F Zero. Mm-hmm. I love F Zero. Which I'm glad to say though, you know, it's also on the SNES Classic. That also includes the uh, Super Famicom Classic as well. Exactly. I just wish that Japan, well, Nintendo in, ge in general. We'll release the uh, uh, the BS satellite versions of uh, some extras that's out there. Right. Of course, you can get that, you know, via you know, I, uh, IPS patches as well, you know, for on ROMs. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, Nintendo's cardinal sin though is not releasing any of this for everybody. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Then again, they're 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 law they're they're so draconian with their rules and all that. Then again, you know, Japan doesn't necessarily have uh, oh shit. Japan doesn't necessarily have, you know, the best, uh... Oh! Alright, here we go. I'm gonna shorten this down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Plus, you know, much like, most like Japan, too, you know, a lot of Japanese, a lot of Japanese shooters have, uh, you know, specific path, you know, a little, a lot of angulation when it comes, you know, to, to <laughs> dodging uh, moves like that. There we go. Oh, where's the... Oh, what? 
There we go. I was able to get the core first once I knocked the... And down we go. <laughs> now, uh, one thing I will point out very much about uh, um, the difference between the 68,000 and the Super, the Super Nintendo and Famicom version, the music. Yeah, the music is different. The music that we're using on this one, of course, is the X68000 Sharp version. Mm -hmm. The uh, Super Nintendo, for some reason, has a different soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why they did that. I really kinda, don't. Sounds kind of punkish. The Super Nintendo soundtrack sounds kind of punkish. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I like it, though. The drums are insane. There we go. Me, personally, though, I personally like... Uh, after you know hearing the soundtrack, we know both this one and the Super Nintendo version. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, this version is probably my favorite out of all, out of the two. Mm. Um, I wouldn't say this is my favorite, but I do have some, I do have some, uh, some tracks on this version that I actually do like. And believe mm -hmm. it or not, this is one of them. Underwater. Yeah. Underwater, both on the original and on the, uh, and on this version. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you know, it was, I feel like you know, the the soundtrack for the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom version was meant to be different, but I don't know, I don't know why they did that though, because this version is actually pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I think. Oh, yikes! Yeah, that's also another thing they also took out of the uh, of the of the Super SNES and Super Famicom versions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that? Then again, though, you know. There are, you know, certain hurdles that they kind of put in the middle of it, though, that also kind of evened it out in terms of difficulty. Right. There we go. Yeah, and... Oh, you forgot the, um, the other... You forgot the, uh... I, I don't think, uh, the, the hidden entrance on this one... It I, is. All, there is. There's only, uh, there's... I thought there was only one hidden entrance on this one. There's two. Oh, so there's two, just there, like on the SNES version, too? Yeah, just like on the SNES version. Yeah, because I know the, uh... I think, I think I was probably distracted from just dodging everything. That's also another thing that I've also learned about this game, too. There's secrets that you pass by, though, and it distracts you. Oh, yeah. Power up. Power up. Laser. But I'll tell you what, like, the, as far as the Super Nintendo and, and Famicom versions go, the Super Nintendo version, I can only make it past... I can't make it past uh, Hyperspace. Hyperspace. On the Famicom version, I can't make it past Destroyer. Yeah. If you don't know, those those are the seventh and the fifth level, respectively. Mm -hmm. That you know, another thing that's also different too is the fifth, uh, the seventh level on this game though, are two completely different game, uh, two completely different levels. You'll oh, see, yeah. and you'll see why later. You'll see why, yes. You'll see why later what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Take out these guys here, these little hand crab looking things. Yeah, hand <laughs> that's what crab. they look like. Yeah, that's one thing that kind of always. Yeah. I'll give you a fun fact. Um. That low, the red logo that we just passed by. Yeah, that. Um, You'll see it. Hold on. That red one right there with the triangle with the circle. I actually thought about getting that as a tattoo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. I can see you wearing that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Not in the middle. Ah, I could have held. I could have held onto my. I could have held onto the. Yeah. Yeah. This guy likes to fall. This guy likes to fall on you too. Mm -hmm. It's also another one of the other difficulties about this game too. Mm-hmm. Is a. Uh, the enemies on the the boss on here can actually can track your movements really really simply. Yeah, they're faster too. Mm-hmm. Not to say that they're not fast in the Super Nintendo version. It's just yeah. they're they're more predictable. Yeah, that's another thing I've also noticed as well. I think probably I think it's whoa, what's this? Ah! Okay, don't want to know that then. I never saw that. Yeah, on this part though, it's actually pretty pretty simple right here. Just going up and down. Yeah, it's gonna just wear them down. Oh, there we go. And he's more down. Oh god, I can't stop thinking about the. And I will say though, you know the the soundtrack on this. One, I'm gonna keep saying the soundtrack on this one. I it really, really, I really like this version of the soundtrack though because it seems more action oriented. I do too. And also, I, I and also another trivia, I. The uh, the cover for the Famicom version of Phalanx and the Super Nintendo version of Phalanx is very much different. Oh yeah, and now if anybody knows what I'm what we're talking about when it comes to the box art, the the Super Famicom version literally has uh, you know the the uh, fighter that you're that you're uh, piloting on this game. On the Super Nintendo version, it's very well known for the old man with the with the banjo and the dog. 
<laughs> I think I'll probably put a picture of that whenever. I think I'm gonna put a picture on that whenever I'm uh, <laughs> while I'm playing this. Yeah. But yeah. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, yeah, it's widely. <laughs> it's this is what this game is widely known for too on the Super Nintendo on the American version of the Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, is the box art. The box art is so out of character. Yeah. Yeah, and from what I understand, I read a, uh, earlier whenever I was researching this, uh, I read that one of the reasons why they did that is because it, was not, it wasn't just to, uh, to appear, appeal to American audiences. It was more just to give somebody... I guess you say it was more like misdirection. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we can do that, though, but mm -hmm. I, think I'm, I think I'm good with what I got. All right. I think I'm good with what I got right here. Okay, cool. No, but it was more like a, a means of uh, misdirection. Now, the ratings on this game, though, were pretty average in terms of it being an average shooter, mm -hmm. which which I won't lie, I kind of agree with. Yeah. But, but then again, though, you know, everybody's, everybody's got a different opinion on this game, too, so that's, and that's fine. It, you, know, it does, you know, it does have its challenges, though. I will say one of the things I, as far as the ratings go, a lot of people complained about the difficulty, while a lot of people, pra while other, while a lot of people praised the difficulty. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I think it was like, what, 60-40 six, when it comes to difficulty choice, I think is what it was. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you know which... You were saying? Yeah. Yeah, what's funny, though, on the uh, on the, <laughs> S on the, SN on the SNES version, though, that Iron Snake, though, ha is, is built like a brick shit house for one. Two, that Iron Snake, though, whenever it, uh, when you don't shoot it down, it spits out these circular eggs, if you will, that yeah. look like... They look like they were carved out of wood. Yeah, like it's, potato chip. Yeah, like they look like living potato chips and shit like that. It's, yeah, it's it's so weird. They look like dried potato chip. Do not go down. Oh yeah, because oh yeah. What's funny about this one is on the uh, on the SNES version. If you go to the bottom, uh, you speed up to the next side. If you go to the middle, you speed up. It's the middle, right? The middle, I think, is is a uh, slow. It slows you down though. You see, you, uh, you go to the next uh, second part of this level. Uh, at a regular pace that we were going as, or if you go to the top, you completely start the level over. On this one, it's reverse. It's on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. when I found that out, I was pissed. <laughs> yeah. This one, it's the set in the center. <laughs> I'm starting to think this one might be the fast one. I don't know, but I'll tell you what the uh, the the Iron Snake looking mofo. Even if you kill it, it still spits out the um, those potato the dry potato chip looking thingies. Yeah. Um, it's eggs. funny because a lot of the enemies on the Super on the Super Nintendo Super Famicom version mm -hmm. look like look like food. Yeah. They, like especially this boss right here. Yeah, you'll see why. It look like look at that. It look like chocolate bubbles, doesn't it? Yeah. And it looks like a walnut, and the core looks like a walnut in the middle. Yeah, it looks like a little bit like grainy. Like a grain orb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, but, like, if I was doing good in Phalanx in the Super Nintendo version, mm -hmm. my luck would always turn mm -hmm. once I reached the Iron Snake. I always died, like, 90% of the time. Yeah, he's a little... Uh, I don't want to say he's unpredictable, though, but... Mm, I mean, he's dead now, so, you know, why Why bother with it? Yeah. Well, if it wasn't the Iron Snake, it'd be the eggs. Yeah. Or... Dried potato chip, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Deep Core is pretty cool too. I think Deep, I think uh, on the Super Nintendo version and the Super Famicom, Deep Core and Destroyer have the best themes on here. Oh, they do. They really do. Uh, Deep Core, Destroyer, and Hyperspace. Yeah. Or that's not what that state. That's not what Stage Seven is called on. Uh, yeah. This on this version. Yeah, like I said, the levels are level seven on this one's very different. It's actually a little bit more, oh, a little bit more interpreted to. Oh yeah. And uh, that that particular monster though doesn't do that on, on the SNES version either. No, it doesn't. There you go. And there and there's two there's two of those those mofos on. Uh... I believe so. Yeah, th yeah, you're right. I think there is. There's two of these mofos in this version, but on the Super Nintendo version and Famicom, there's only one. And then you got this fool right here. Yeah, with a little uh... lasagna beef. Raw beef looking. <laughs> there you go. Oh, take, take all that out too. I totally forgot about that. There's two versions of that. There we go. I'll never forget when I played this level one time. One of the missiles of one of the enemies direct hit. <laughs> <laughs> just knocked and just uh, completely took you down. Yeah. Yeah. That what's also interesting too is the the mid boss uh, the mid bosses on this too have a on the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom version mm -hmm. have a have a theme too. Mm -hmm. That was that's another thing that they also changed. Yeah. Or they, or what they added. 
Oh yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> they look like those things. Look, those little things look like some off of that movie Tremors. But without I know, them being, right? Without them being snakes. Yeah. Right, and these little. These little the, those. I hate those. I hate those with a passion. Yeah. On the Super Nintendo version, at least. They're I've... tough. They're fast, and then. They're a little the way they fire you off the way they their ammo the ammo they fire at you you mm -hmm. can actually take it off but on this one you can't kill it no. you can't uh, shoot it down. No, there's a little secret. There's a little hidden spot right here. There's two in the Super Nintendo version. There's there's two on this one too actually. Oh okay. Here, let me see if I can oh, find it. Oh, it's this one. I can find I can find it real quick. There's this uh this little whatever whatever the fuck you want to whatever the hell you want to call it though this upside down. That like, floating jelly look like a floating jellyfish in my mushroom, opinion. A little mushroom looking song. Yeah. Little sound bug right there. Like a mushroom mixed with Syphozo genes. Yeah. The Nadaria genes. If you don't know what a, what a Nadaria is, it's just a, it's the, I think it's the phylum or the order of a jellyfish. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, okay. There's, there's another one coming this way. I think it's that one. No, actually, they moved, no, actually, no, they moved it. Sorry. I think it's this one right here. I think it's right here. There it is. Oh. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah. Kitty! <laughs> Mr. Kitty? It's a bad kitty! It's a bad kitty! It's a bad kitty! Yep! <laughs> Sorry. Very good. It's a bad kitty! <laughs> Plus, you know, when you do those, you can kind of skip a little, you can skip ahead a little bit. Yeah. Another, <laughs> another interesting fact the missiles are limited here. Yeah! And what was oh yeah I forgot to mention there was also a Game Boy Advance version that was uh, released as well. Yeah, and I can't even beat that one. The Game Boy Advance version wasn't a bad port. I'm no, it wasn't. It actually wasn't. No. But God, the the sound chip on the Game Boy Advance is is notoriously bad though. But at the same time, some of them you know translate pretty well. Yeah. Not, not for this one. On the Game Boy Advance version, you could you actually had bombs mm -hmm. that you could actually clear the screen with, and it actually you know leveled out this game pretty easily. Yeah. That's another game I'm trying to... That's that's one of the games I'm trying to look for is the Game Boy Advance version of Phalanx. Yeah, the GBA version. There we go. I have, um, and, by, and by the way, that was me pressing that really fast. Yeah. And uh, another thing, too... Uh, oh, here, wait, hold on one second. You have this intro with this wonderful... Yes. This is something I wish the, the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom version had. This little intro right here. I, I thought about having that as a tattoo. That'd be an awesome tattoo on you. I could definitely see uh, have uh, sport in that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go. What's funny though, like uh, the the background on this one, I wish it would move because yeah. it looks like you're going across like a like a planet right there. Oh, that's yeah. Fire! What the fuck? Yeah, I know, right? But what's also really cool about this one is uh. There's uh, two little uh, two little moats you can find right here mm -hmm. that you can also get you know extra health with along with your extra uh, along oh. with your extra fire uh, with extra firepower. Oh, I knew. Oh, I did something really. Hold on, hold on. I'll show what I'm talking about. I did what... a little. I did a little trick. I did yeah. a little trick. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and I was ten when I did it. And uh, these these bot these sub bosses are switched in uh, the Super Nintendo version. Yeah, this is technically on on the SNES version. The sub bosses are actually uh, number is that, that that's sub boss number up. two. Yeah, that's actually sub boss number two on the Super Nintendo version. Mm-hmm. There you go. Down here. Mm -hmm. Damn it. <laughs> Alrighty. I have a guitar. And there's this. I, have, I have a guitar, and I've always been trying to figure out how to play could play these musics on the, the, the these themes on my guitar. Yeah. The state, the Super Nintendo stage themes, at least. There you go. Boom. And I'm still, and I still suck at playing yeah, guitar. Check right over there. Up. Boom. Power up. Here it is. But here's a here's another uh, thing that they also kind of. They measured out too. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever you destroy them, though, the uh, thing move, the uh, power ups move. Yeah. Here we go. Here, there's a cat meowing outside. <laughs> there's a cat meowing outside. It sounds like it, yeah. 
Find one. We gotta we can take care of a couple of the cats outside. There we go. Take. Ooh. We. We have cats. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Ugh. Yikes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Yikes! I think. Whoa! Oh man! Mm. Damn! Damn! Whoo! <gasps> Goodness! Goodness! Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you, uh, it's, it's the it's the limited spacing on here that's it what makes is. it so difficult. It's the same. It's the same with with the um. And the SNES version, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we and go. now we come to you with advertisements. Step come one, come all. Welcome to the advertise area of Kemco and Zoom. Phalanx was developed by by Kemco and Zoom, and. One of the most difficult, most challenging games of all time. If That's you can beat this game in the funny mode, come on, step right up. We'll send you an own personal email with a code. Yeah. Sign up now. Yeah, what was that code, too? Yeah. I don't even know what that code was. I, I don't even think there was even a code to it. They just kept give you a, like a big congratulations. You're the best pilot or something like that. Yeah, I think it was either that or it was either that or you got something in the mail. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. I mean, I never, like... I read a lot of people. I, I've seen a lot of playthroughs of this game. Yeah, I love, the fa I love the fact that this is this is also on an asteroid field. And mm -hmm. on the what was it, the SNES version? Uh, yeah. I don't think there's even any. Uh, what is it? There's not even graffiti on those uh, asteroids either. No, they're not. Yeah, they're also they're also pretty clear. It's got you know, but it's also got a good frame rate. I'll give it that though. You know, on the SNES version, the frame yeah. rate's actually pretty good. It is. The frame rate, slow, the, the slowed frame rate actually helped to my advantage on certain on certain levels. Oh yeah, yeah without the uh, with the with its graphical limitations that it had, the uh, slow frame rate actually helped out. Yeah, it did. Then again, though, you know, with the uh, you know more processing power, with a bunch of uh, other with a bunch of other. Oh, sh <gasps> damn it! Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, this, this is gonna be rough. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be rough. Gonna but be even with even with low power, you you have a fighting chance with this version. Oh yeah. There you go. I'll give you something interesting. Um, you, you, you talked about you mentioned the Game Boy Advance version. Yeah. The underwater theme on the Game ba the Game Boy Advance version sounds like some off of the first Tekken game. Yeah, that's a little bit weird too. Cause... That's weird. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Tekken, do you remember Tekken on the uh, on the Game Boy Advance? Yeah. Oh my God. It's... Oh my God. That was weird. That was a weird port. Real port. I did not like it. It was weird, but if you knew how to play it though, you were you you were good at it. Yeah. It, because like you know, you only had two buttons to play on the uh, with this with on the uh, Nintendo on the I'm uh, oh, sorry Game Boy Advance. Yep. Almost a Nintendo DS. Mm. Though though I would have loved there for it to have been a Nintendo DS version. I still would have played it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would have played it too. Or 3DS. I was I was I, I, I'm that much of a Tekken mark that I'll play Tekken on any. <laughs> speaking speaking of a, a really bad Tekken. I saw the this Chinese knockoff ROM of it on the Super Nintendo. Oh! If you can find a if if you can find a a playable version of Tekken on the super on the quote unquote Super Nintendo on a ROM, it's a horrible horrible Chinese uh, bootleg version. You know, because you know China doesn't have any copyright laws with that kind of stuff. I I think I know which one you're talking about. Oh, oh it's oh it's horrible. brace yourself. It's terrible, but it's so bad it's good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Like I played Tekken Revolution. Oh yeah, the the home arc uh, the home pay -play, arcade the free home to play, -play Tekken version. version. It's basically a single player version of uh, Tekken Tag Tournament. Of Tekken Tag Tournament too. Yeah. I still was good at it. I actually very much enjoyed the um, the gameplay of it. Oh, that was a waste. And oh, now I beat it though. And now I've went from a Tekken mark, which I'm, I'm always going to be a Tekken fan. Don't I'm I'm always going to be a Tekken fan forever and eternity. I went from, I went from that to okay. oh Here, here's what we were talking time about. Time out. Yeah. Uh, seventh mission. Okay. Now on the Super Nintendo version, this is called hyperspace. Yes. Because you're at the, what's different about this one is that yeah you're still in space, but you are flying at a very 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 fast rate. And uh, along, along with the sub boss that you fight. Mm -hmm. Now the second part, now the second part of uh, of hyperspace on the Super Nintendo Super Famicom, mm -hmm. you know, has the second the second side of it though is still the very much the same. Mm -hmm. But on this version, it's called Warp Gate. Mm -hmm. Warp Gate, you at these little uh, little modules right here that you actually have to find find your way out. Now, for somebody that's uh, that's leading this uh, little charge right now, I don't know these gates nearly as good as misunderstood. 
she knows her way through this, so you know she's gonna be the one navigating me on this. I hope, yeah. To anybody that plays Warp Gate, I hope you got a great memory. Yeah, you have to have a good memory with this one because you've got to know which uh, gate you can go to. If not, you better be good at process of elimination. Yeah, because yeah, I believe it does change a little bit, but it's not this one. This first one here, right? No, oh, no, go, go. Yeah. Get, get in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first gate's right here. There you go. Wait, that was, wait, was, okay, this one's it. No, okay. no, no. No, no, I meant to say, like, this is the, Yeah. Like, we're, going, we're going the right way. Yeah, we're going the right way. No, the second, oh, this one. The last one. Very last one, the single one, okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Whoa. No, not there. Whoa. Yeah, this'll, this'll, this is literally, if you don't know where you're going, though, this, you will literally be in an endless loop. Bottom one? Yeah. All right. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Okay, so this, this is the same on the Super mm -hmm. Nintendo version. Yeah, this part is the same, though. The only difference, uh, the only difference is that you're actually, st you're slowing down just like this. Mm-hmm. And... God, I would have loved to see uh, this version on the Super Nintendo. I would have loved to too. I, I bet you would have been like, I bet you'd have been more difficult though. Oh yeah, and speaking of uh, uh, when it comes to difficulty too, if you remember on the uh, on the Game Boy Advance version, mm -hmm. uh, on the Game Boy Advance version, if you die, uh, see right here, I've got four. I'm at a, I'm at level four power up, right? Yeah. If you die, you go down just one power up. Yeah, and you go down one power up. That's it. Definitely, you know, evens it out though. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't necessarily have to destroy. <laughs> see, see what but, I mean about this game? But yeah, I'm but I'm still doing it like a buffoon, man. Look at me. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. you should have seen me every. I I'm serious when I say this. If I died so many times, all you heard was. God damn it! Oh yeah, the swear fest. You know. Oh yeah, she was uh, swearing. <laughs> she was swearing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, there we go. There, you want to talk about a big cussing fest. All right. Oh. Hold like, on. like, uh, you would have thought profane language was the first language I learned before English. Okay. Really cool, really cool tidbit here, too. If you stay like this for an extended amount of time and just keep killing these little, uh, these little, uh, spider things right here, mm -hmm. you can actually farm extra lives this way. Yeah, you can. You can farm extra lives this way. Now, we're not going to sit here and farm the entire time because, you know, well, for one, I don't want to sit here and just hold, uh, holding down the, uh, fire button the entire time, too, get, so. Get at least to 10. Uh, get, get up to 10, maybe. Up to 10? Yeah. Uh, I think I'll be okay, though, because I have a, I have a good feeling about, uh, uh going towards, uh, the, the final mission. Charge. Yeah, it's called charge. Yeah, yeah. Charge is notoriously difficult too. So. Yeah, Ricky Sonata San is uh, the name of the pilot on this. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Ricky Ricky Sonata is the name of the pilot on this version in the Famicom version. On the Super Nintendo version, his name is Wink Ballfield. Dub and I say Wink as in winking, like yeah. W I N K B A U F I E L D. Yeah. Wink Ballfield. I like the last name Ballfield, but Wink. <laughs> there's another there's another layer you can put on there and then make it sound a little bit gayer though but mm -hmm. we'll we'll pass through that yeah well yeah there you go oh oh i like this theme too by the way yeah yeah this version theme's pretty good as well mm -hmm. charge charge yeah oh hang on. sorry about that sorry i'm making dinner right now though i actually got three more minutes until my alarm goes off i need to check dinner real quick mm -hmm. hang on yeah this little maze right here that's actually gonna help us out there we go. Ooh, even better. There we go. Even better. Fire these up. There you go. Fire away. I can't see a thing. Fire anyway. Fire anyway. Yes. Oh shit. Oh. All together. <laughs> okay. Whatever the hell that is. Cool. Oh god, cool. it's Super Nintendo version, these guys are throwing the kitchen sink at you. Oh yeah, on the SNES version though, uh, even on easy version, man, in, in easy mode, mm -hmm. it's it's stupid. Mm -hmm. I've tried, you know, I've never made it this far, I'm, I've never made it this far, you know, on, I've never made it farther than, uh, let's see, on funny mode, the furthest I made it to was Bio Cave. And even that <laughs> was a, and even that was a struggle. I never, in funny mode, I never made it past uh, Assault. There we 
go. This will be good. I'm gonna hold on to these uh, these piercing lasers real quick. Yeah, hold on to those. They're actually very. I'm actually better with the energy blaster on this version than I am on a. Uh, than I am on a. Uh, the Super Nintendo. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Alrighty. Yeah, here we go. I'm also convinced that the old man playing the banjo in the Super Nintendo cover is Wink Ballfield. Is Wink Ballfield. <laughs> and uh, and I guess he's living the memories, reliving the memories of his time as a pilot, and that's why you see the uh, spaceship. Oh yeah, you can see this far. Yeah, I must have shot myself thousands of times every time I went into hyperspace. Yeah. And I'm sure he's he's crashed and burned plenty of times with the Onyx Snake. That was a uh, that was a uh, only 25 years. Like how old is Ricky Sonata in this version? Or Wink Ballfield? I think uh, I believe uh, I Ricky Ricky Sonata is 18. He's 18. I was 18 years old. They called me Ricky Sonata at one point. I said I'm not the Japanese fellow you're looking for. I just uh, showed up. I was a I was with the Air Force. Yeah, I think Wink Ballfield was 25, 26. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Uh, but I could be wrong, and any phalanx expert out there, you know, correct us if we're wrong. I don't know what they were talking about, but every time I went to hyperspace, I shot myself more than twice. It was quite a smelly ship. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Warning. Oh yeah. It's almost like a almost like a computer virus going through. Mm -hmm. Farming in the Super Nintendo version would have been very smart mm -hmm. if you were to face this guy in the Super Nintendo version. Oh, hang on. Hold on. Justin. Wait. Just in time for this. Huh. I can I can kill him. I can kill him. Just give me a few minutes. There we go. Take the sucker down. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. There's... Yep. And there's your ending right there. There he goes. <laughs> there we go. God, I love that old 80s... I love that 80s, uh, 80s anime style, too, man. That looks that looks like something... I love, I love the style. It has that Neon Genesis Evangelion style to it, it as does. well. Yeah, it does. And a little bit of, a little bit of Gundam as well. Yep. Honestly, I think this would have been a good anime, if you ask me. It would have. I agree. I would have loved to have seen a Phalanx uh, anime show. Oh, yeah. It would have been really good. And there we go. There's Dallas. Mm-hmm. And I think her name is Linda. I'd I have to I have to go look over it again. I think so, yeah. I don't remember uh, the, the names on it. Yeah, but Dallas is going to buy you drinks now. Okay, According to... Um, way to go, Ricky. Hey, we get back, get back home. Drinks are on me, man. Mm-hmm. And he's going to go home to his girlfriend, Mel. Hmm. Yeah, because I know in the uh, intro, I, I didn't watch the intro, but uh, I do know that on the intro it, it shows her name. Yeah. No, she's 26. Okay. Oh, holy shit. That's her. <laughs> hey, Ricky. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for playing. Please push plus. Now, uh, no, that's that's the credit right there too. It says right there the X sixty eight thousand uh, from Zoom. This was for the twentieth anniversary. Whenever this was released in two thousand nine, see 2019, 21, 20, 21, 22, 23. It is officially twenty four year a twenty four year anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, Akira Sato. Yeah, that was a uh, that was Flanx, the We Were remake, and uh, the only other version that you also gonna find on here though is there's another. Here, let me pull it up real quick. Pull it up real quick. Here we go. Here we go. If you go to options, well, for one, you can actually listen to the soundtrack. Yeah. And uh, if you go to the options menu too. I like the menu music on there too. You can choose uh, from the sixty-eight thousand version or the Wii version. Now the Wii version, all it is <laughs> is just to make it. It's it's basically what they what they should have said on there is the kawaii version, the super cute version of it yeah. though. So everything, a lot of stuff is usually replaced with just little wacky characters like like the Japanese do too. Mm -hmm. But uh, and of course you got the uh, quote unquote opening karaoke, which is actually the opening uh, cinematic stuff. But I believe uh, on the uh, normal and hard versions, you open up other uh, open up other uh, scenarios after you beat the game. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and get dinner out of the oven, too. We got to eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank y'all for coming uh, on this journey with us with Flanks. It's been a 
a long, 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 long time coming. This is something that we've been wanting to play forever. Yes. Got a hold of it, regardless if it's emulated or not, though. So uh, we're going to go and uh, sign off and uh, eat dinner. Much love. And uh, 